Hi everyone, it's Gail. I'm here to do the final flip through of this sewing book that I've completed. Um, this one is spoken for and so um, I, I wanted to let you know that. And we're just gonna flip through. You guys helped me so much with my craft with me. So I have to move something here so I can open this up. Let's see, let's make sure we're well in camera. Looks looks good. Okay, so this is one of the five ring binders. This is the sewing book and um, its copyright is uh, 1970. So, um, so we're just gonna flip through. I will be sending along to the gal that ordered this, I'll be sending along the extra pages as I have been doing with these um, with these five ring binders because then they're you know opportunity to play and make your own pages so we'll just we'll just flip through so um, as I said in the other video when I was putting it together I usually keep a few pages at the beginning of each section from the original book um, this one has the entire little golden book of the brave little tailor included in in the book so there's that this is an envelope that we put a pocket of vintage wallpaper in and I just tucked some um, coffee dyed paper in so that just provides a little journaling spot there and the envelopes are empty um, I, I don't know if you noticed when I very first opened the book, but it's, it's really full. So I just left the envelopes for her and um, she can she can decide what she wants to keep and what if she needs to take some stuff out, she can and use it in another book or something. So um, here's the top of a pattern that we just sewed on the flap of the envelope. This is some Tsunami Rose coffee dyed paper just to provide a little journaling spot. Here are the two pages there and then another page that um, just sewed some vintage wallpaper on the top of. Love these images. Here's the children's book again and Tsunami Rose. Again, pages. And this one, this wallpaper is um, just has a little hole punched in it with a garment pin and a little scissors charm and a tsunami rose tag attached there. And then tucked in this side have a guest check, a little journaling card made from Tim Holtz paper. And this is um, this is definitely vintage. This store no longer exists. It's a a fabric store um, kind of a you know rewards card type of thing discount card I guess they called it so that's there here is a pocket with um, vintage wallpaper it's a tall skinny pocket so I had meant to put some, I have some coffee dyed file folder and so I'm going to make a tag. I'll put that in there before I send this off to her. And then this is a page made out of the instructions for the pattern. Here's another page with vintage wallpaper making a pocket and I just used it put some coffee dyed paper in there for journaling or creating on in some way. That's the back. Mommy Rose. Here again is the children's book, Tsunami Rose. This is a belly band made from fabric and I just tucked an extra piece of the vintage wallpaper just back in there for her to play with. And then this is um, this is a fabric pocket here and inside I have one of the Tsunami Rose tags topped with some crochet and then in here I just have a little tag 
inside this envelope that I made. So that all just tucks right in there. And then on this side, I used um, the outside of a pattern that it was kind of tattered, so I kind of cut it apart. I just embellished the page there, made um, a pocket, and then I have a shaker tag tucked in there. This is on an envelope, and so here's the here's some more of the pattern cover. Here's some vintage wallpaper with a fabric uh, ruffle and a bulb pin with, this one has a button and a little tiny thimble charm on it. Here's a merchandise bag that has another fabric ruffle and this time it's got a large uh, scissors charm on it and then inside I've put the entire pattern I mean the instructions and the pattern and everything is in there this is April 9th 1991 pattern swimsuit pattern and I just included the whole thing in there for her and then um, when we flip this over on the top I've uh, put a tsunami rose tag I have just put a hole through the bag and attached it to the bag right there. So this is the fabric dictionary I thought was so cool in this book. Here is a pocket from vintage wallpaper. It's just got a journaling card in it. This is um, some cardstock with some vintage wallpaper that has been painted on and I just got a big journaling card in this side and then there's a smaller pocket on this side that just has a couple of tags I should say too this trim this trim here and this trim came from my happy mail from Jamie and so it went so perfectly there so thank you Jamie for that Here's, the, here's a pattern that I just made a big pocket for that. Here's another page out of the instructions that's just been sewn around and can be created on. This is, uh, once again, a vintage wallpaper pocket and I've put a vintage envelope on the inside as well as a page from a vintage sewing book. It was kind of fun. So let's tuck those both back in there. And then this flips out for more room to more room to play children's section. Love these pages with the trims. I think they're so pretty. And then on this one is this wonderful applique from Diane Fortin DF Embroidery. And it's on an envelope and then again has the um, has the pattern flap <laughs> attached to the envelope flap. Here's some more cardstock with a vintage wallpaper pocket. And in there I've tucked um, this little journaling card that I made and then um, this iron-on patches from the 70s. Okay. And then again, this is some cardstock I've attached and altered paper clip and um, that is to hold I put this was what was in that blue pattern cover and it's how to make pillows and bolsters and things for your home 
So I just, um, I just closed this with the paper clip just to kind of keep that um, booklet in there. And then um, there's also a bulb pin with a little sewing machine on the fabric ruffle here. Look at those trims. Wouldn't we love to get our hands on some of those? <laughs> This is again um, cardstock and vintage wallpaper, and I've just tucked a card of vintage um, buttons just right in there. And again, cardstock here with a little pocket, and I've put this cute little card with the with the mouse and the pin cushion. And then on this side, there's one with some mice and a sewing machine and then the mixed media envelope at the back and um, that we did some collaging on some vintage wallpaper here and my little created by Gail tag so that is it that is the five ring binder sewing book and as you can see it's just a chunky chunky monkey so I appreciate you crafting with me on the two craft with me's that we did for this book and appreciate you watching the flip through video. Thanks everyone so much. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.